Today we're going to learn how to code this bad boy. Really simple, just concentric circles, but with this really cool thing that when I move my mouse, the colors change. Let's see how we do this. To follow along with me, come to code.strivemath.com, come to the sidebar over here. You're going to scroll down until we find concentric circles. You're going to click this button that says switch to simple mode. And now we are ready to get coding. So the final project that we're going to be coding is this guy. A nice pattern with concentric circles. Super simple, super easy. Let's start all the way, no code. So I, what I've done is I've just selected all of this code and I'm saying goodbye. And let's build it line by line. The first line of code we're going to learn is background. So I'm going to say background and I'm going to say background black. And then I'm going to get this beautiful black background. I can change this to red. I can change this to yellow. I can change this to whatever I want. But notice it needs to be in these quotation marks. If I don't have these quotation marks, I'll get an error. This is where I want to teach one thing here. So built into this is an AI assistant that can help you find errors. So you'll see this button. You can click it and say debug with AI assistant. It's going to send that message to the AI. And let's hope it gives us a nice answer. There we go. So it says we can't do this. OK, so try this instead. So for different things, you'll notice if I do now take this code and put it here, I get a yellow background. But so you can use the AI system to help you debug errors. Let's carry on though, and I'm going to make our background black. Two other useful commands, draw tick axes is going to give us a coordinate system that we can follow. And crosshair is going to give us a nice thing that's going to show us where our mouse is and the X and Y coordinate of our mouse. This is going to help a ton. So we want to draw. The project we're going for is this. So the first milestone is just a circle. That's a simple circle in the middle of the screen. How can we do that? So there's the circle command, and the circle command takes three numbers, an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, and its size. So I want the X coordinate to be 400, the Y coordinate to be 400. I want its size right now to be 400 as well. So what you'll notice is that, whoa, not that. I'm going to move my face. We have an X coordinate over here of 400. Let's move crosshair. I'm just going to I'll explain why this works here. I'm going to move crosshair over here for now. And you'll notice in the middle of my circle is at X 400, Y 400. Awesome. And the size, that means the length from going from here to here is 400 across. So it's a little bit too far and a little bit too big. So let's make it 300 by 300. So X 300, Y 300. And yeah, a diameter of 400 works. Cool. We got our first circle. Milestone one, done. For milestone two, we want to now get concentric circles. So we want to be drawing multiple circles and one inside the other. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another circle after my circle here. And I'm going to prove it the same x300, y300, and a y of 200. And now you'll see, okay, I get a circle inside of it. So one circle is being drawn on top of the other. One thing I want to just bring caution to, if you put the circle command here, if I draw the circle with the size 200 before the circle with the size 400, I'm not going to see it. That's because this circle is covering that circle. It's on top of it. So we need to draw the biggest circle first and then the smaller one. So let's make the biggest one even a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to take this circle. Let's bring it back here. And now I'm going to just change the size so it looks, I'm going to go in increments of 100. So I'm going to say that circle. Let's go again. So this is actually a great place where we might be able to use AI where I could ask it. For, we're going to keep it simple for now. Let's just, let's keep it simple. We'll use AI later. So keep drawing this circle. 200. So I'm just changing the diameter every time in order to get one circle inside of the other. I'm just copy pasting each line of code. Cool. OK, we've got our concentric circles. So that is milestone two. Next one is color. So we want to add, as we can see, milestone three, we want to get concentric circles with color to make this a little bit bigger. And you'll notice each circle has a different color. So how do we add color? So in a similar way, we use it for background we can fill each circle. So I'm going to say fill, and I'm going to say fill red. And now you'll notice all of them get filled red. Again, notice if I don't have both of these quotation marks, or if I'm missing a bracket, I'm going to get an error. So always make sure you have both quotation marks and you have both brackets. 
how do I make them different colors? The way I make it different colors is I need to specify a fill for each one of them. Because what happens is when I call fill, it says, okay, for everything that is drawn after line four, everything after line four, make it red. So now you'll see if I say after line on line six, I say fill blue. Now all of a sudden, everything after line six is filled blue. Okay, let's keep going. So now I'm going to say fill green. I'm going to say fill purple. And let's go fill brown. Okay, cool. Nice and easy. We've got concentric circles with different colors. We're nearly done. Last one is we just want to have some fun with AI. And so what you'll notice, so this is going to go a little bit more advanced because AI is going to give us a little bit of spice on things we don't understand yet, but we could play around and make it fun. There's this, how can I make the color of the concentric circles change as I move my mouse? That's what we want to achieve. So I can click on this and it'll give that prompt to the AI. So these are suggested prompts. You can write your own though. You can be like, how can I make the circles explode? You can give it a shot. I don't know if it's going to work and it might give you some really complex code. You want to, when you do give prompts, give it prompts that is going to give you code that you might be able to understand. And so now, okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. It's giving me a whole bunch of fancy stuff, okay, on how we can do this. Right now, I'm not actually going to care if I understand this or, now, or not for now. Let's see if this works. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy paste all of this code that is for the circle. So I'm leaving background black. I'm leaving draw tick axis. It's going to take crosshair. And let's copy it. Let's close our AI window. Paste it in here. Let's see what we get. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so sick. Okay, cool. That is day one. That is, that is this lesson complete in things, in things here.